Well, hi YouTube. I got something new I wanted to show you. This is an embedded Linux board. It's based on Navia 32 processor from Atmel. And uh, as you can see, well, it's quite, uh, quite small. Uh, it has 64 megabytes of uh, SD RAM, dynamic RAM. This is an 8 megabyte flash module platform flash module also also from Atmel, but I I suppose yeah it's 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 a it's it's a bit small well compared to the RAM but I don't know why they did this. Still um it's quite cool because it it's getting shipped with an embedded Linux system and you can connect to that. It has a USB high speed connector uh which you can connect to it creates a virtual uh, TDY device, USB TDY device on your uh, target system and uh, you can use it for a uh, terminal program like Kermit to connect to it and log in like you would do with a normal Linux system. It has certain uh, cer certain problems. Uh, the first one had a capacitor that uh, was well not, not as much as voltage resistant as it should be and uh, so the second version, the one I uh, got here, had a problem with uh, the, mm, the Ethernet bridge, before, which was mounted here, where I got my thumb. Um, I soldered it out because I need to replace this. It was the wrong chip, so it took me <laughs> sort of two days to figure it out with help from other others that this is for, uh, the wrong chip, and we told that to the distributor, to the manufacturer of that board and they promised to give us a replacement but I don't have this uh, replacement quite yet so it will take some time and those pin headers here are the ports of the AVR32 processor which is, which is a BGA256 uh, package means it has a ball grid array of 256 pins. Right. Well, you can probably can see it. Uh, yeah, and this is how big an embedded Linux board can be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite neat. I'll show you later of it. Uh, uh, more of it of a later point of time. Especially when the network is finally working. Uh, and also some, well, I'd say, uh, I make a, a, a page on my homepage for that thing. Uh, I've created a new category, which is called Embedded Linux, and uh, it will have a section about the grasshopper. And, uh, yeah, more to come. Well, you can order this board on embedded-projects.org, and it's quite low cost. It's about 75 euros, and this is quite low cost for a board like that. So, it's a good beginner board. 